Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting via a kind suggestion to Vince Gill and Patty Loveless. They're performing Go Rest High on the Mountain. This is at George Jones's funeral. Let's see what they have to say. Great to hear Charlie Daniels talk about the high spirit of his belief. And Barbara also mentioned those shoes. It's my belief they don't make those shoes anymore. The first time I heard Vince Gill's voice was here on this channel. You could probably just type in Vince Gill if you want and see which video pops up first because that'll be the first one or pops up as like, you know, the, how do you say that? The one that pops up the furthest down would be the first one. But I remember thinking what a like, the quality of his voice wasn't what I expected. He has a higher range, like he he's he's more up in the alto soprano range, which to me was just super surprising. But it was also there was like this boyish quality to it that I really loved. And this seems to be years later because he seems to be a bit older. And I love hearing how his voice is mature, but it still has that kind of like the same foundation, that same kind of like boyish quality to it I don't know it's just something I also love this like sheeny shiny black suit that he has on um but yeah those are just like my first thoughts my first impressions Go rest high on that mountain. Ooh. on earth is done oh he's crying getting choked up go to him on a shout love for the father oh. father oh how it all right another observation when this video first popped on and i know that i read the title and clearly i see that this woman's name is patty loveless but um, it, quickly, I thought she was Reba. I think it just was the red hair. I felt like, and I saw her from behind. I was like, oh. Uh, and then secondly, something about the last name Loveless, to me, rings loudly this person can sing. I don't know why, but if your last name is Loveless, that means you really can belt out a love song. In my opinion, <laughs> like, no one has a last name like Loveless and isn't a really good singer. Don't argue with me about it. I'm sure of this. Um, I've only thus far heard her harmonize, but I can tell you the woman's got a set of pipes on her. I mean, the harmony came in and I think she caught him. She caught, she supported him really well because he got choked up. He had to step away from the mic because he visibly is emotional. And she came in and supported him with her, with her vocals. Um, and they are strong and they are powerful. I don't know if she's just going to be, um, harmonizing the whole song or if we get to hear from her in a solo but either way i i, I feel grateful to hear her voice <laughs> Cry. the day you left us we gathered around your grave to greet me oh he is so heartbroken wish i could see Angels face when they hear your sweet voice saying, Go rest high. 
nothing is harder than trying to talk talk through tears. I can't even imagine trying to sing and perform through emotional heartache. I can't even imagine. And you can hear his voice is cracking and he is broken, but he still sounds really good. It's just, it's like, it's painful. It's painful to watch somebody be in pain and still have to literally perform, like literally show up. And again, Patty is doing such a beautiful job of supporting him. You could tell she like wants to sing more for like to help. Um, she also is doing this thing that is so, for me, reminiscent of the gospel church. She's like little ad libs where she's like, mm -hmm. you know, like it feels very like hymnal, like she's singing a hymn, which for me is just nostalgic to growing up in the church. But, um, ah, oh, poor Vince. I mean, I obviously don't know his relationship to George, but one can assume he had either a relationship or some type of mentorship or just admiration towards him because he is broken up about it god bless Play it. I feel like he's gonna play everything that he can't really sing right now in this guitar. I feel like he's gonna lay, lean into it, y'all, because he can't vocally get it out because he's so choked up, but he can deliver on this guitar. And you can, it's weeping. You can already hear the guitar weeping. Ooh, funerals are hard. Oh my God. that mountain son your your work here on earth is done there are there are times during a funeral that I think things become really real um songs like this I think especially when you just envision and, and you really they're like such finite they're final songs right like it's like go 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 rest Go on and be with the Lord. Those type of things will really, really like cement the realness of this person no longer physically being. And I think that's really hard for me. The hardest part of a funeral is when they actually um, lower the casket into the ground. For me, that's it. It every time I'm just like that. It just makes it so final. And I feel like Vince singing those words and those are really powerful powerful words go up high up on that mountain your work here is done it's so final and that's hard that is so y'all 
I don't know, but he seemed to have, like I said, he leaned into that guitar. He he played it all out, and he was able to come back with his vocals, and he sounds. The emotion is really beautiful in his voice. It really is gorgeous. Go to heaven, Vince Gill and Patty Loveless, ladies and gentlemen, both members of the Grand Ole Opry and a couple of George Jones' very favorites. George what a beautiful, beautiful tribute. And the end, that last run that they did together and then Patty finished it off with the... That's what I'm saying. Like, there's, there's something so gospely and soulful in that. Beautiful. That was beautiful. I commend that man for getting through that because I don't, I don't know a lot of people who could just continue to like push through the grief um that was that was a, that was beautiful my goodness okay all right i didn't cry which is surprising but <laughs> um thank you for that one guys and eh, go and have the day that you deserve peace